Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the drop cam. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this drop cam into my computer. I'm using this on a MacBook Pro with Retina. It's running 10.7 and I'm going to plug the micro USB to the bottom of the drop cam. The moment I plug it in, the status LED turns orangish right above the lens, then it starts blinking. And on my desktop, I see the drop cam icon. So I'm going to launch this. And once I launch it, I see there's the drop cam app for Macintosh computers. I'm gonna launch this one too. And now it's taking me to the website. Okay, see, so during setup, you will need to create a drop cam account, establish Wi Fi connection, and place your drop cam. All right, so I'm going to begin my setup. My username. I'm going to create my, my own account first. My email. Yes, I agree. He's asking me for my Wi Fi. I choose my Wi Fi, my password. Connect. So right now it's adding this Wi Fi information from my home to the drop cam. Okay, your drop cam has successfully connected to your Wi Fi network. See, so did you know your drop cam video is encrypted with the same technology that banks use? Yeah, it's good to know. Let's see, this drop cam is ready for indoor usage, only between 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that means I can't use it outdoors because in the summer where I live, it gets pretty darn close, well, definitely over 95. Let's see, keep the drop cam out of direct sunlight, make sure it has ample space for unobstructed airflow. And use only the provided cord and power adapter for drop cam. Keep the drop cam, power adapter, cores, and accessories out of each of children. Cores can be haz hazardous, yada yada. Okay, I understand. Hit next. Okay, drop cam placement. Unplug the drop cam from your computer. Place drop cam where you like and plug in a power outlet. Okay. So I'm going to wait for it to be placed. Let me plug the power adapter in. The drop cam has now been plugged from my computer to the AC adapter using the included 10 foot micro USB cable. I'm going to hit next. Let's see, give my drop cam a title. Uh, drop, let's get called drop cam one. This is my first drop cam. This is my first drop cam. This is my first drop cam. I hear feedback. I hear feedback. I hear feedback. I'm going to mute the mark. Mute I'm going to mute the mark. This. Mute the speaker on this. Let me just say, uh, let me take, just a say tour. uh, later. Take a tour. I want to watch it now. Later. I want to watch it now. Hey. Hey. Here's about one, two, Here's about three, one, three, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. About one two, second delay. Three. About one, one second two, delay. Seven, say, remind me of seven. Seven days. Seven days. So, this so, is the mute button. Mute. Hey, nothing. Quality is pretty good. Hmm. Seems like there's a little, a little, this bluish haze on a screen. I uh, can't seem to get rid of it. Okay. So, what else is there? The status LED right now on the drop cam. Now that it's all set up, it's blue. It's blue. Let me just hit talk. See if it's I hear it. Blue. All right. I'm say allow. Testing one, two. Nice. And the audio quality is pretty clear. I'm going to turn off the talk right now. I'm going to turn off the talk right now. Now the audio is coming back on the computer. Now the audio is coming back on the computer. Let's browse the settings. Let's browse the settings. Sorry, let me first mute this again. Sorry, let me first mute this again. Let's browse the settings. 
So we have the name of my drop cam, camera on, status OED, HD, night vision, auto. See audio sensitivity, camera scheduling, location disabled. So far my drop cam DVR program is just the basic motion detection on, sound events, and my wireless network. So I can zoom, I go to my alerts. So it's on motion, send an alert to my email address. Or I can say I can schedule a time for it too. So say turn off every turn alerts off every. Let me see if I can plus hit the plus button right now. Okay, it's not sharing. I can invite people. So only certain, only the people I invite I can share my drop cam with them. Or I can make my drop cam available for everyone to see. Okay. Oh, so he, so I turned on the motion alert before, and these are the motion alert indicators. I can actually go back. If I just move a mouse over it, it shows me a, basically a snapshot of what motion was at the time. What I'm going to do now is turn off the light in this room so we can see the night vision quality. On the drop cam, I can see six infrared LEDs. Those are red, and I can still see the blue LED light. This is status. See if my camera can catch capture the night vision LEDs. And it's, it's not that bright, it's pretty faint. Well, sorry, not, not that faint, but it's still noticeable. Let's, let's take a look at the throw distance. So I'm pointing the drop cam to my living room. Here's the playpen for my child. Okay, so not bad. So with the drop cam, I did not even need to set up any port forwarding. I'm able to view it over the web. There's a DVR functionality. Currently still, a trial. it's only a trial period, but I think it's uh, worth checking out. Oh, and here's, you see, my clips, where it stores my clips, every home smile, okay. Now let's take a look at the featured drop cams. So these are drop cams that people made public. Let's see, Live Monkey, what's this? Tinkering Live Monkey. Tinkering Live Monkey video stream. The quality is very nice. And here's the motion events indicator. You can also subscribe to this person's uh, camera too. Right, let's go back to my drop cams. Okay, well, the, everything is very simple, straightforward. Now let's check out the iOS application.